喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵。Hey everyone, I just want to say that I missed you guys. I have not、uh, done an actual formal video on YouTube in months. I've been doing shorts over the last several、uh, months over, you know,、uh, Arizona Cardinals, some of the happenings in sports, in life. But guess what? It is March Madness. So over the next three days, we're gonna have four different videos of each region. I'm gonna film a second video of the East tonight, and then we're gonna do the、uh, West on Wednesday and the Midwest on Tuesday. So it's gonna be a heck of a lot of fun.、Um, we're gonna be, you know, posting videos also do the Final Four, of course, on Wednesday after we do the West region. So I'm gonna be giving you my picks. Unfortunately, last year, remember I had Yun Sonwai, which I wish she was here. She's at home with her dad in Arizona. You know, want to say thanks for your participation. Sonwai kind of kicked some serious ass last year. In her picks, I'm gonna try to, you know, she got Kansas and Villanova in the Final Four last year. I'm just gonna try. If I can get two teams in the Final Four, I'll be very, very happy.、Um, this year is gonna be very competitive.、Um, I think it's gonna be a heck of a lot of fun. So let's get to it. Let's get to the South Region because that's where we're starting. The number one overall seed, the Alabama Crimson Tide against, I'm gonna say Southeast Missouri State. Beats Texas Corpus Christi in the play-in game. Let's see if I'm right on that. And let's keep track. I'll keep track with you guys. I'll probably, you know, post、uh, videos over the next couple weeks about my progress and how I'm doing. But in this matchup, I'm going to take the Alabama Crimson Tide. I'm pretty sure Alabama is going to win. No UMBC this year, so we got Alabama advancing. Maryland versus West Virginia. This is a very tough matchup. I believe the line is like one. I know Maryland has a much better record. West Virginia played in the brutal Big 12,、um, 19 and 14. Played the one of the toughest strengths of schedule in the country. I think that West Virginia and Bob Huggins' crazy press defense. Oh no! Watch out for Bob Huggins as he's he's you know the first coach to really do like the pullover fleece instead of the suit and tie has I'm wearing on the sidelines. You know what an innovator you are, Bob Huggins. I'm gonna take West Virginia to defeat Maryland. Um, then in the second round, we'll kind of stay in the boxes throughout this uh, process. Uh, Alabama versus West Virginia. Alabama is just too athletic. Brandon Miller is going to be too much. I know what I think West Virginia can hang around for a little bit, but in the end, Alabama runs away in the second half. Wins probably by about 15 points. So we got Alabama standing to the Sweet 16. All right, San Diego State at Charleston. I know that's the Aztecs. Been very disappointing. I remember they got their. Clocks cleaned a couple years ago by Syracuse, lost in horrific fashion to Creighton last year in the first round. I think that this year, though, I know that Charleston's 31 and three, but also they played, you know, a horrific non-conference schedule. They didn't really beat anyone. That's why they weren't going to make it as an at-large if they didn't win their conference tournament, which they did. I'm going to take the Aztecs. I think defensively, the Aztecs lock down Charleston. I think it'll be a good game, but I think the Aztecs survive. Uh, Virginia versus Furman. <laughs> Furman. Anyways, I don't know why it's kind of a funny name. Furman. Virginia. They're kind of an excruciating team to watch. I know that they had the one、um, horrendous game against UMBC, but really outside of that, in recent years, Virginia has actually done pretty well in the first round. They've kind of been avoided. Outside, of course, the biggest upset in the history of college basketball, maybe.、Um, They've been pretty devoid of upsets. They won the national championship the following year. They actually were in the NIT last year, which was odd. I think that Furman's going to have some early issues against that just locked down half court defense of Virginia. Virginia wins a very very ugly game. Congrats to Furman, the Paladins, getting back in the tournament, but a short lived Virginia moves on. Creighton versus NC State. NC State's been playing like garbage. Creighton, I know that they were like a preseason top ten, a little bit disappointing. Non-conference schedule played a little bit better in the Big East, but then got absolutely smoked by Xavier. But I think Creighton just offensively, I, I don't see I don't see a way they don't score at least 80 on NC State. I think NC State is one of the weakest at-large teams in the field. Give me the Blue Jays, not the Toronto Blue Jays, but the Creighton Blue Jays to beat NC State. Baylor against UC Santa Barbara, as you can see, UC Santa Barbara is not green; they're blue, but I had to fix that, you know. I've been to Santa Barbara, beautiful city. Never been to Waco, Texas.、Uh, no offense, don't really have the desire to go to Waco, Texas. 
But I will say that Scott Drew has grown himself a pretty darn good program down there in Baylor. And they can score buckets. And that's going to be the problem you see Santa Barbara in this game. It's going to set up one of the, probably the arguably the most maybe most fun second round game, which we'll go over in a minute. But we're going to take Baylor. And actually, I already screwed up. Let's go back up to San Diego State, Virginia, before we go down to the bottom of the bracket. This is going to be an ugly game. Like 52-48 ugly. It's going to be slow, plotting half-court basketball. Honestly, this is a game I hope they throw on True TV and, like, only only ask to maybe, you know, only the ghost of Tony Gwynn and, you know, and maybe, uh, I don't know, uh, <laughs> uh, Ralph Sampson, you know, maybe watching this game, you know. <laughs> like, you know what I mean, the alumni to San Diego State and Virginia because it's not going to be a very pleasurable watch. But I think San Diego State, I think they got – San Diego State, I'm kind of bullish on San Diego State this year, even though they're not the prettiest team to watch. They're one of the best defensive teams in the country. They don't turn the ball over much. I think that Virginia, this is where their road ends, San Diego State. The Aztecs made it a Sweet 16 playing Alabama. All right, Forrest Gump school. All right, down to Creighton versus Baylor. This is going to be – the opposite of San Diego State, Virginia. You think this game sucks? This game's going to be awesome. It's going to be three-pointers. It's going to be very fast-paced. I mean, I would be shocked if both teams don't score 80 in this game. It's going to be one of the more enjoyable games to watch in the entire NCAA tournament. But I'm taking the Creighton Blue Jays. I just, you know, I think that Creighton, this is a team that length and athleticism-wise matches up with Baylor very, very well. And even though Creighton's been kind of inconsistent, they lost to my Sun Devils for crying out loud this year, I think Creighton gets to the Sweet 16, kind of gets it right at the right time. Now let's go to the bottom. Mizzou, M-I-Z-Z-O-U versus Utah State. This is going to be one of my big bets, and it's not just because my wife is a University of Missouri alum. You know, I think that the Tigers should not be an underdog to Utah State. I think Utah State, they're a hot team. You know, they can shoot the basketball, but I just think Missouri athletically, you know, they, they turn you over a lot. I don't I don't think this is a good matchup for Utah State. I'm going to take the Missouri Tigers led by, you know, super senior Kobe Brown. And in Arizona, speaking of just big tall dudes, yeah, Princeton, always fun to see Princeton in the tournament. This is just a step up in class. And, you know, the team I hate is Arizona, but, like, man, this bracket for Arizona – I hate to say it. it. It's, yeah, this is not going to be pretty for Princeton. You know, if Yale made it, Yale wouldn't have been a 15 seed. Yale probably would have been a 12 or a 13 seed, so they wouldn't have been playing Arizona. But, um, yeah, Arizona advances easily. And then this is where the rope ends for Missouri. I just don't see Missouri having an answer for the Twin Towers of Arizona. Um, Balo and uh, by this, I think Arizona moves on to play Creighton, I know I got it kind of in a weird spot. It's okay. Just go with it. Um, now, back to the top. Alabama versus San Diego State. So, you would think Alabama, they got, you know, you know, Brandon Miller, one of the best players in college basketball. They can shoot. They're kind of inconsistent shooting, though. I feel like this is a team in San Diego State that can lock down Bama, take Alabama out of their game, grind it out, make it just a grueling, frustrating game, take the under in this game. I think the Aztecs, this is as I said, plus it's bad juju. Alabama's got bad juju. I know that Brandon Miller was acquitted, you know, of, of, any, of any investigation here with what happened with that terrible murder on the University of Alabama's Kansas tra uh, campus. I can't, you know, I can't obviously speak. I don't know any knowledge of it. But what I can say is I believe in momentum and juju. And just having the drama surrounding Alabama is bad juju. That's why the San Diego State Aztecs upset the Alabama Crimson Tide in the Sweet 16 and get to the Elite Eight. Yes. You know, you're like, Drew, you're just kind of going a little bit chalky in this region. Well, bam, there's your, there's your not chalk. Five seed in the Elite Eight. The San Diego State Aztecs upset the Crimson Tide of Alabama. On the bottom, Creighton and Arizona. We already saw this. Arizona beat Creighton in a very entertaining game in Hawaii earlier this year. I think Zona beats Creighton again. I just, Creighton just can't deal with Arizona's size and, and down low. Um, Creighton could. I think this will be an awesome game. I think it'll be a close game. But I think in the end, Arizona's Arizona's a size, you know, their high-low game. It's just too much for Creighton. Um, we've, we've seen it before. We've seen it again. And you got a little bit of a West Coast game. 
You got you know, arguably the best team in the Pac-12. You could say UCLA is, but maybe right now Arizona is because Arizona is more healthy. Versus San Diego State, the unequivocal best team, to, and actually a pretty underrated Mountain West this year. This is where the road ends for San Diego State, as I said. Twin Towers for Arizona, you know, um, Larson on the outside. Uh, Henderson Jr. has been very hot as of late. I think Arizona kind of outshoots San Diego State and actually kind of wins a game that's, you know, 67-56, you know. It's close for a little bit, but Arizona runs away. I think that this region, I hate to say it, you know, remember Sean Miller could never get Zona to the Final Four. It's been over 20 years uh, since Arizona has been to the Final Four. You remember that epic choke job in 05 against Illinois was a year Arizona should have went to the Final Four. I think the Wildcats finally make it to the Final Four. The number two seed, Arizona, makes it to the Final Four. And I hope I'm wrong. I'm throwing up in my mouth right now as a Sun Devil picking Zona to make it. But uh, this, this region just lines up way too well for them. So, yeah. We'll be back later on the night. Thank you every much. Thank you. Wait. Thank you every much. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I will see y'all later today.